Okay, I want to teach you today how to solve the two by two Rubik's cube. It doesn't matter if what brand it is. Right now, I have a V cube too. But if you have a Rubik's two by two, then the black is actually white. See, yellow is opposite white or black. So if this, if you see the black, I mean the white side. But if you are using a V two V cube two and it's a black side, just follow me and all that. So. Before you learn how to solve it, you have to learn something called the algorithm notation. It's pretty easy to um, understand, but if you don't, then it's, I, I don't know, you're just not ready to solve a Rubik's Cube. You just gotta keep, you have to understand it to solve a Rubik's Cube. Or two by two, three, you have an algorithm notation for a two by two, three by three, um, a four by four, five by five, and a six by six. Any cube actually. A three by three or four or mega minks. It doesn't even matter. Anything. And I can't show you my four by four because my four by four is completely in pieces. So the algorithm notation is like this. If you want to do R, that's R. Cause you're turning R means that's clockwise. But if you see I after that, that means you want to do right counterclockwise like when you're doing right when you're turning right it's like you're looking at the side and you're turning it front so that's right right inverted up up inverted L L inverted um, D D inverted and Front, front inverted. Oh, this is, B is pretty hard. It's B, B inverted. So yeah, after you get the algorithm notation, you'll be able to um, learn how to solve the two by two Rubik's cube. But if you're not comfortable with the algorithm notation yet, you don't have to mix up the cube and follow this tutorial. So after you get the algorithm notation, you're allowed to mix it up. This is the easiest cube to solve that's actually functional. People say it's the one by one, but I don't get what they're saying because you can't, it's not fully functional. You can't even function it, right? Okay, so I start with the black side. Or if it's for you guys who are using a Rubik's 2x2, it's the white side. So I see that this black, green, and red piece goes right here. So I just do that. I just bring it there, and it's supposed to be lined up when you're doing it. So all you have to do is solve the whole side, the one side, making making sure it's lined up. So I see that goes there. And if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable putting that piece up and like that. You can also do an algorithm called right inverted, down inverted, right down. See, right here I need to get up. If I do that, it removes this piece from there. So you have to do right inverted, down inverted, right down. And then after you got the whole side done. There we go. After you got one whole side done, you want to take the cube and flip it upside down so the black side's on the bottom or black or white side's on the bottom. Now you wanna look at the top. For my case right here, you can see that there's a yellow, green, and orange piece right here. And you know, black or white is opposite of yellow. So you wanna take it and line it up with its two colors. And you wanna do this one algorithm which is supposed to line up the corners without missing, messing up the black side. It's up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. And you can see that how the whole yellow side, it's optional. If you do not have the whole yellow side already, um, you have to do the algorithm again. So, at this case, I can see the there is two corners that are lined up and these two need to be flipped. Now the algorithm to get to the other position that you're supposed to have it is, is the algorithm is R2U 
R2 UI R2 UI um D R2 UI R2 the way R2 What the poop Aww. damn sorry for that guys Okay, I want to make another case. Um, you'll have two rows right here. You do not want that because it won't perform right when you line up. They will have another one right there that won't work. So you want to find just an empty spot right here, and you want to do that algorithm. So you're lining up corners algorithm. Then you have to do it once or twice. And then you have one. Do it. Do it one more time. Oh, and sometimes you'll get it into a soft state. But you do not want it in a soft state, so I'm gonna. That's optional, but there you can have already solved the two by two Rubik's cube. It's, that's pretty good. I know I'm pretty fast at it. Okay, now the case where you see this is a bar and these two are flipped you want to keep the bar on the left side of you and you do that algorithm i showed you but i messed up on it it's r2 u r2 ui r2 ui d r2 ui r2 u u r2 ui and you should have the whole cube solved but if you have the case like i showed you I'm gonna just do that algorithm again. But if you have that case where <sighs> where you only have like two corners like that, you have to do that algorithm. Um, again, it doesn't matter which side, but you just do it, and then you have to have the green bar, and then you should have it solved. Thanks for watching. Please cover and subscribe. And don't forget to look on my... I will make a 3x3 three three tutorial. Maybe a 4x4 four four tutorial. And maybe a 5x5. Five five, and maybe even a 6x6. Six six. But I'll have to get good at the 6x6 six six first. And I may want to modify it because it's really clicky. Oh, almost popped. I'm lucky. Huh. So, yeah. See you in my next video.